those requirements are centered around new rules for ventilation. Restaurants must fill out an application proving that they have made the changes before expanding. There's a lot of concern tonight over this new proposition from the city. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis is in Spring Garden to explain the process to get more people inside Philadelphia eateries. Kim? Though these restaurants can start filling out applications now to reopen at 50% capacity starting Friday, it's unclear just how many restaurants will have the cash to do so. It's easy to eat out. It's easy, it's simple, but you gotta find and you gotta listen to the scientific facts. Don't call it a comeback. At least not yet, anyway. Philadelphia restaurants have been given the green light to increase its capacity limit to 50% if their ventilation systems meet certain requirements. And those requirements aren't very easy to meet, according to a co owner of Cuba Libre restaurant in Rumbar. We have lights in the ductwork which kill, which kill COVID 19 and other virus and back bacteria. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the city's not recognized that in their um, in their new regulations and standards. Hopefully, they will in the future. But in the meantime, we're going to have to spend even more money to uh, change our control board. Tuesday, the city announced that restaurants may increase their capacity from 25 percent to 50 percent starting Friday, only if their HVAC system is fully operational and ventilates the entire indoor dining area. At least. 20% outside is air circulated by HVAC system. Plus, the air must be circulated at least 15 times per hour indoors, and the exhaust vent must have a minimum six foot clearance from tables and chairs. I don't know that everybody's going to be able to achieve this. I don't know that everyone's going to be able to afford this. So it's not uh, a good solution for many restaurants. If restaurants have the cash to meet all of these requirements, they must then submit an application showing compliance and wait for the Department of Public Health to approve it. If people send in those forms, we will review them and we will respond with a goal of responding to restaurants within 72 hours of our having received those forms. Guten says it's a step in the right direction, but the service industry, yet again, has to overcome some pricey hurdles. Many restaurant owners are not in favor of these new recommendations and believe a better solution is achievable. That's the very latest live in the Spring Garden section of Philadelphia. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you for that.